Today we're talking about Luminar Neo, and I'm gonna try and make this film as quick as possible. Luminar reached out to me, they're like, Phil, would you like to make a film? I'm like, sure, why not? I have used your program for the last three and a half years. In fact, I did a film up there years ago. Obviously, it wasn't sponsored just because I like the application and I've used it for sky replacement and I've used it a lot for models. So I used to be a fashion and portrait photographer and I used to spend ages editing photos, cleaning skin in Photoshop. But now I go into Lightroom, as these all have plugins for Photoshop and Lightroom, the Luminars, you basically export it into Luminar, go into face, clean skin, get rid of, you know, blemishes and stuff, automatically export them. And normally 100 photos takes me two to three minutes. That's something I would spend days, maybe even over a week on in Photoshop. So this is a program that I've already come to love and the brand new one, Luminon Neo, um, Neo, Neo, is, um, it's, it's that plus AI tools, plus just so much more. It's really, really fantastic. So when Luminar reached out, I obviously said, yes, that's great. If you do need a link, you're gonna find one down below and a special 10% off code from me that will allow you to purchase it a little bit cheaper. Anyway, I thought, right, I'm in mid journey. I'm going wild and crazy with AI creation, AI photos, AI art, whatever you want to call it. And I'm loving it. But the photos come out pretty small. As you can see, they're 1,456 by 816, which isn't large. The great thing about this though, is that you can pull one over to upscale down here and you can do two, four, six times. So let's just do it twice press upscale and it's going to upscale that photo for you. Now, if we look at the size, 2,912 by 1,632, it's already a larger photo and it looks a lot better. And you know, it's something I can go out and print now because it's such a small photo, I can't do much with it. But this, it's been upscaled. That's fantastic that you do have that option. You also have HDR merge. So you can go up to 10 photos and HDR merge them, which is fantastic. Focus stacking up to 100 photos focus stack. That's great for some people that do focus stacking in macro, for example. And if we go back to our photos in our catalog, I want to start with the portrait of my model gynoid. Now, if you go and Google gynoid, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is her in Iceland with a little bit of snow in a white coat. It's very cold. And on the right hand side, you have all your tools. And then if you go down, you're going to find portrait. And let's start with face. We can relight her face. So if you go from zero to hundred, you can see hundred is way too much. Zero, you know, it's quite natural, but I want to have a little bit more punch in the image. So if we go right there and have a look at before and after, you can see it's already given it a little bit more light to her face. I do this when I'm editing model photos, which is, you know, it's great, but I have a fake AI model right here, but she looks pretty real. I mean, even if we zoom in, look at her. I can see the eye here may not be 100% perfect, but she looks pretty insane. Eyes, you can change the color of the iris, which doesn't look 100% natural, which is not, you know, a, a look I'm going for, but say you want to go for cat. You know, there, there is wild stuff you can do. You can change the visibility so it's not so crazy. You know, you can go all the way down and give her, for example, mint eyes. It, there is a lot of wild stuff we can do here. So let's let's give her, well, brown, maybe a little bit crazy. I think the green eyes will be nice. We can put a flare in. Not my kind of thing, but you can do if you want. You can enhance the eyes. So without, you know, going in and doing Photoshop, you've got tools here which will speed up your process. I know a lot of people like doing that. Dark circles removal is something a lot of people do. So if we just look at that, look at how that changes everything. I mean, that's that, that, where is the before and after? Where is it? Look at this. You know, we've already, already done a lot to the image, right? And it's really quick. We can change the lip saturation. Her lips are already looking pretty damn good. We can darken them a bit and we can go into skin. Skin is something that I use a lot. You can remove defects. So she doesn't have defects because she's an AI model and she's perfect. What is happening with this world, huh? But we can smooth out the skin so you can go all the way up to 100%, which is way too much for me. I normally go to a max of 40% and that's where I leave it. The great thing about Luminar is that it does a fantastic job of keeping the structure of the skin, keeping pores, making the face look natural. So 
when I use it for photo shoots, it's just great. I just press copy, paste, and it does all the photos, and I'm really happy. You can remove shine if you do have shine. You can also go and change the shape of your body. If you need it, you can use it. It's not something that I use ever, really, but it is an option. If, like me, you're a little bit overweight, you can slim up really nicely in this application. So that is a portrait. And you know, she, she, she looks fit in screen. Let's have a look. She looks pretty crazy, huh? Let's have a look before and after. Impressive. Let's go back to the catalog. Right, so hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, let's try this one. So this is, I'm, I'm not gonna give away all my AI prompts because um, I'm still working on them. But if we go into landscape, whereas landscape, there it is. This is quite interesting because we can go into golden hour and we can really, really get this image looking a little bit more, you know, gold. And you can dehaze it a bit, which is which is nice. It gives it a little bit more of a, you know, a cool look. We can add a vignette so we can, you know, darken the edges a little bit just to give it a little bit more, you know, atmosphere. And we can go into sun rays. This is really cool. We can place the center of the sun right here and we can there we go, and we can add rays. Look at that. Boom! It is fantastic. And the great thing about this is that it feels where the leaves are and the trees are. Look at this. Look at what it is doing. That is real time. But we're going to place it where the natural sun, the artificial sun, has been placed, because this is all AI. And I mean, look, look, look at what we're doing. We're going to change the strength of the, the actual sun rays, the penetration. I think think that looks great. Sun settings, you know, we can change the actual radius, we can change the glow size, and the ray settings, you can change the amount of rays coming through. And I don't know, I think that right there looks insane. This sun ray setting has really changed the way I work in some photos, and I love it for AI photos, because before and after, look at that. I mean, there were slight sun rays, but now we've kind of enhanced them, made it look just wild. Let's go back into the catalog and let's do one of my favorite things, which is changing the sky because it works so well. And it's something that I never got right because you have to go around trees, you have to go around objects and doing that in Photoshop really is a huge time waster now when you have a program like this. We have enhance, which if you press it, just look what it does to the image. It pops it just like really pops it and i think if we keep it at 30 that would be fine but look look you can enhance the sky it's like basically putting on a polarizer on your sky but as you can see on the ai image it's not going to do a good job because it is an ai image and we need mid journey to come out of beta for that to work but if we click on sky and you know the sky selection for this should already be a bright blue sky so if we're going to click that I think this should probably look the best and feel the best out of all the different skies. So look at that. I mean, that that instantly has added a bit more to the sky. Let's try blue sky. Oh, that, that's beautiful. Let's have a look before and after. And I don't know if you noticed, but it's also changing the reflections in the water. So down here in the water, it's changing the reflections. Look, look at that. Isn't, isn't that fantastic? Now you can change the global because you can see it kind of goes over the um, the mountains at the back. You can close gaps so where it's not acting perfect above like for example the the spaceman right there we can change it. We can change the relight strength and we can change the reflection. See that? So we, I, I think that that's not great. That's not great but if we keep it at about 30 it looks really really natural. So I mean you can do I mean if, if you want and you really want to go crazy, you can do, for example, dramatic sunset and you can really change the look of your image. And right there, that is just, it's, it's wild. And if, if, if we also close the sky and we go down to, where is it? Landscape. And we put golden IR up a little bit. So everything feels a little bit more warm. Now let's have a look at before and after. Just wow, it's really changed 
this artificial intelligence image, this AI created art from Mid Journey, and it's given it a completely different look, which you can do because it's all AI. So we're changing AI in an AI editing program. And that's just absolutely incredible. Now, I would like to do another sky replacement, for example, on one of my favorite shots, which is the pink spaceman in late Como. So if we do go and edit it, press sky, and you can you can even try something really crazy, which, which won't work because the reflections in the water will look really really bad so i mean you can see straight away that that that's that that just looks wrong but if we do go into for example blue skies and we change the sky so they're a little bit more oh, that looks pretty natural oh that, that that looks pretty cool you know some of these are a little bit too far out but i would say something like that is interesting and like i said we can also change the horizon the position of it right there so it looks a little bit more natural we can flip it there we go um the global again so you can see that it changes where it's actually touching so right there it's going across the mountains here it's getting nicely masked we can close gaps so where you feel it's like it's 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 getting a bit destructive and we can relight everything so make the sky lighting looks similar to the actual image lighting and you can relight the human even though it is not human but we can do that a little bit there we go that looks a little bit more natural and the reflection so without reflection it looks a little bit fake with full reflection it's a little bit too much but if we if we have it just around say 40 50 it looks really good let's have a look so yeah so we've instantly changed this ai image into something completely different I'm going to give you one last one, which let's have a look. These cars. That's, 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 that's really, really wild. We can try super sharp. So for example, if we go into 200% and we press low, it is going to do its AI thing. And it's now, let's have a look. It has enhanced it. You can see on the buildings, it is enhanced it. You can see on the actual on the cars, it has enhanced it. You also have noiseless, so if you have a very noisy image, you can get rid of the noise, though low is good, middle and high do soften it a little bit too much for my liking. If we go into atmosphere, we can add, for example, fog, mist, and there you go, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Mist to the actual image, let's, let's um, fit it in screen and see what it does, see? It's kind of softened everything and given it this kind of misty look, which is actually pretty cool, and it adds to the look of the image. Now, <clears throat> if we go once more into where is landscape, there we go. Let's give it a whole nice golden hour kind of look. That's way too much. Right about there, dehaze it a bit, and that's already a nice change, which is really, really quick. I've been talking for a long time. This is 13... 14 minutes. Thank you to everybody. Fantastic. Thanks, Luminar. All the links are down below. 10% off with my special secret source code. If you did like my video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And if you haven't... Fun stuff. Editing AI in AI software. Mind-blowing.